we here with lightweight contender Jermaine Ortiz. You're an expert with the 135 division, especially about the fight that's going to take place May 20th between a former foe of yours, Vasil Lomachenko. We're taking on Devin Haney. What are your thoughts on that fight, fam? Uh, I think it's going to be a, a challenging fight, but I got Devin Haney winning. I just think he's the bigger guy. He has a nice, strong jab, but I think Lomachenko will be able to bring something to the table and make it more of an interesting fight. You think the blueprint was laid a little bit in your fight? In the sense with the jab, yeah. I think I, I established the jab and kept him off bay with the jab. And I wouldn't say it's a blueprint, but it was an, it's an easy pick, you know? It was a, a jab that just kept him at bay. And if you keep on doing that, and Devin Haney has established and showed that he has a great jab against Cambosos. He beat Cambosos with just the jab. So if he keeps that jab with Lomachenko, I think it'll be a easier night for him. You know, you've also, you've been in the ring not only with Loma on that night, but you sparred him a lot of times. For, do you think that Loma is the exact same fighter that he was, that he once was, or do you think he's slipping at this point, man? No, I think he's the same exact fighter. A lot of people were saying that he dimmed down, but nobody was saying that when he fought Richard Comey right before me. You know, they talk about a long layoff, but what is considered a long layoff for these pro fighters? Maybe a, a year and a half, but most of these fighters, they fight once a year, twice a year at max. And a 10-month layoff, to me, is not really a layoff. Gotcha. His, his decision against you was considered controversial. Do you feel like you're the one that should be fighting Devin Haney in the I, I do think. I, at least, I, I feel like I should have been fighting Devin Haney. I feel like I won against Lomachenko. And the bare minimum, I should have been on that card as well. And if, and if Lomachenko ends up winning against Devin Haney, I'll love the rematch. Let's talk Ryan and Tank real quick. What are your thoughts on that fight? Is that fight, does it tell us anything about who the best is in a lightweight division? No, not at all. To me, that's just going to be a great fight for the fans, a great fight for the boxing community, a great fight for us fighters to continue to challenge ourselves to be better and make great fights and legacy fights. And for this one, it's all about the styles. The styles make fights. And this is one that it's not about who's really the better fighter. It's about the styles matching up and making a great fight. And I like Davis. I think he's the better fighter, but I do see Ryan Garcia catching him with a left check. Keyshawn Davis just went out there with extremely dominant man. Um, I spoke to him plenty of times. He said he wants to fight you ASAP. Um, what do you think about him as a fighter? And is that a fight that you can see yourself, that you can see happening as soon as possible? I think if he wants to fight, I think we could get that on. I don't think that's a problem. If, if he's ranked up in the top 10, I think he is in the WBO, we can get that on. Did you see anything in this performance against Anthony Yeager that you could capitalize on? I, I wasn't really watching the whole time. I was pretty talking most of the time. But I seen he wasn't he wasn't really throwing much. He was just picking his shots well. Uh, he's not really much of a volume puncher. Tries to counter. That's about it. And lastly, for me anyways, let everybody know what's next in the world of Jermaine Ortiz. What you got lined up? Uh, currently, I don't have nothing lined up, but I'm hoping to get back in there for the summertime. And we'll just see what, we'll see what's next. Give us your thoughts on Shakur Stevenson, man. Um, this is going to be his lightweight debut officially. Um, a lot of people, even though he hasn't fought at 135 yet, but they're saying he's probably the best guy at the weight class. Do you view him like that or not so much? He's still got to kind of prove himself. Well, after tonight, you know, this is his debut at 135, world champion at 130. And coming up, I think he's definitely one of the top players, one of the top, top uh, guys at 135 eventually after tonight. I believe he will win probably by stoppage. And from there, he'll be in the conversation. And I would love to fight Shakur too. Hopefully me and him could get it on by the end of the year. Do you think he'll be a tougher matchup for you style-wise than a Lomachenko, a Haney, or Javante, Ryan Garcia, any of those guys? Me and him? If yeah. he'll be a tougher match for me stylistically-wise? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think he'll be, tough. he'll be tough for anybody because he knows how to control his defense. I mean, his distance very well and he's very good defensively. But like I said, style-wise, I think it'll be a great matchup. Jermaine, does that fight need a belt, or will you just do it just off of GP? Uh, I would love to have a belt on there because I want to be world champion by this year, man. I really do want to be world champion, and that's my goal. Gotcha. Um, one more question I wanted to throw at you. Um, I know you said you're picking Davis, but 
What kind of percentage would you kind of give him, man? A lot of people aren't really giving Ryan a shot. Are you kind of looking at that fight like, 50, no, 50. Ryan, 50-50 fight? I'm giving it a 50-50. Mm, okay. 50, 50. What, make, what does Ryan have to do to kind of win that fight that man? Oh, man. Ryan just got a stiff arm, how he usually does. And, you know, I know Davis is preparing for that check hook. That's what he's saying. That's all he got. But sometimes that's all he might need. Is Gervonta the most difficult guy to prepare for at 135 pounds, you think, man? No. Mm. no you said not. that kind of quick, too, man. So, <laughs> Who did you say this? The most yeah. difficult guy to prepare for? Yeah. Definitely me. Outside Definitely of yourself. Me. Outside Definitely of yourself. <laughs> Outside of yourself, though, man. Uh, man, who's the most difficult guy to prepare for? You think it would be like I'll, I'll like say that probably Shakur. Mm. If everything goes well, Shakur wins tonight. Um, you already said Devin is going to win on May 20th. Those two should be lining up unless Devin moves up. Official pick, put you on the spot. Who would you take in that one, man? Devin or Shakur? Shakur. Mm. Any particular reason why? Like I said, he's very good controlling the distance, very good defensively. He throws long punches. And depends. If he wants to fight fire with fire, then that's where he gets tricky. But if he can stay disciplined and keep boxing and keep his punches from outside the range, from from outside, he can do good. Gotcha. Last question for me. As far as as far as you go, your wish list, where would you rank? Because you said you like Devin. You said you want Shakur. Devin, Tank, Shakur. Like, where would you rank him? One, two, three. Okay. Oh. I would love to get Devin. Devin first, Shakur, and Tank. Yeah. Ryan would be fourth. If he's still in the picture. <laughs> if he's still in the picture. If he's still in the picture. Gotcha. Appreciate Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, no